Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my makeup collection video and today we're going to talk about blushes, contour kits, and some bronzers. I do apologize that there wasn't a video yesterday but this video is obviously going to be up tonight. And let's just go ahead and get started. I have everything right here. I hope you guys are digging this new background. I know I like being profesh with the backdrop but... Sometimes I want to look a little homey, you know? I just got to play around with it, but I'm kind of liking the way that it looks so far. Okay, so you guys know that I own this because I use it in almost all of my videos. It's the Kat Von D Contour Palette. It's the shade Light. I love this palette so much. Clearly, I've hit pan. I really don't want to buy another one because of this, pa um, this powder right here. I don't want to buy, like, a new one. But, I mean, I love this contour palette so much. I reach to it. It's just... It's just awesome. It's become easily my new favorite. The next contour kit that I have is honestly the one that started it all. It's the Anastasia Contour Kit. And, I mean, it's still bomb. Don't get me wrong. I have my contour book right... I have my contour book sitting right up here <laughs> on my shelf. So, that's where that sits and hangs out. But this is the contour kit. I love this. I use my contour book for um, clients because it comes with it comes with pretty much like all like the beginning shades that she launched, and it's just such an awesome thing to have in my opinion. Even though I don't reach for it, I do use it a lot when I'm doing clients. So the next two kits that I have are cream contours, and I'm honestly not a cream contouring fan anymore, just because not my cup of tea. But um, this is an Anastasia. Cream contour kit, I hate this thing with my life. This is the original formula that she launched it with. So last year at IMATS, I bought it and I was like, yeah, I'm so excited. But it's just so hard. It's so drying. It's it's not... It's not. If you were to get this contour kit, get the... Obviously, get the newer one that launched because they redid, like, the formula and everything like that. The colors, all that stuff. So I definitely recommend using the other one that they launched with, like, the newer one. And then this one is probably, like, my favorite cream contour kit. This is the Laura Mercier cream contour kit. I think it's gorgeous. I've never really touched, like, the highlight shades, but I have touched the, obviously, the cream contour. And they're awesome. They blend really nicely. So let's just jump right into bronzers because I feel like that's what I have the least of. So this is the Smashbox Bronze Lights Skin Perfecting Bronzer in the shade Suntan Matte. It's very, very pretty. I love the packaging on it. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. I think it's perfect. So this is the Smashbox Bronzer. I have Benefit Hula, of course, because Benefit Hula is just my ride or die. I love it. Max Give Me Sun is another one of my favorites, but I like this more when I'm tanner. When I'm my pale self, um, it just looks so orange on me, so I do have to wait until I am self-tanned with a tanner foundation because I don't self-tan my face. So I have to wait for like a tanner foundation and then use this, and then it's gorgeous. So this is um, Give Me Sun. This is another Smashbox bronzer, but I don't have like the name of it, so I'll try and link it down below. I think it's like the HD Photo Finish. Um, it's really, really nice. I like Smashbox bronzers. They're really nice. They're pigmented. They're buttery. They're smooth, so I have no complaints about this either. Then we have one of my favorites. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer. This is the shimmer one. I'm pretty sure they do have a matte one. Um, I like this one so much. It's a very golden undertone, so I wouldn't contour with this one because it's so golden and two because it has shimmer in it. So usually I'm not a shimmer person, especially if it's around my face. Like if it's on my face, I don't want to put shimmer in places that I don't want to emphasize, you know, my pores, a pimple, anything like that. But this, when you're blending it into your skin, the shimmer kind of almost like dissipates. Like it's just like, it just goes away. It's awesome. And this is the Makeup Forever Pro Bonds, Pro Bonds? Pro Bronze Fusion. I love this so much. It is pretty sheer, like when you swatch it, but it's buildable. So I really like this, especially if I'm paler. Um, if I'm tan, I can't use this because it just doesn't show up. Um, 
but it's very buildable I really like it it's like a silky smooth touch I love it so much then I have this Marc Jacobs bronzer this is the Omega bronze in 102 tantric um, gorgeous bronzer on it honestly I've used this in a few tutorials not too warm not too cool it's just right in the middle it's that perfect kind of bronzing shade I wouldn't contour with this because it would honestly just not look good on me in my opinion and then the last bronzer that I have is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer I think everybody pretty much has this in the collection because it just smells like chocolate so I like this bronzer so much I have it on today just a light bit of it and it's just it smells like chocolate like who doesn't want to smell like chocolate you know? We have the mother load of blushes. I'm going to go in with this first. This is the Ofra blush palette. I believe this is new to be honest with you, but I got mine at Gem Beauty in LA, so I don't know how new it is. Um, but I've used this in a few tutorials, and I think it's really, really nice. The pigmentation of these is insane. Like this hot pink color. Favorite blushes of all time are the Tarte Amazonian Clay brushes. I have six. They are stunning. I have the shade Captivating, which is a very pretty coral shade. I actually wore this yesterday. It is my favorite blush to wear in the summer. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and it complements your skin tone so well. Exposed is actually my all-time favorite blush just because it's beautiful. It's that like your cheek color but better kind of color and it's just really, really pretty. I really do enjoy that. The next color I have is Fearless. I don't dabble into this as much, but if I want that pinky cheek, maybe with like a smoky, like blue eyeshadow, then I'll use this. But I don't gravitate it towards it that much. You know what I'm saying? And then this next shade, you guys have seen this in so many tutorials. This is True Love. It's just that gorgeous, like rosy, rosy pink, like it's beautiful. The next shade I have is Flush, and this is more of a cooler toned, like, purpley pink. Um, it's very pretty. This works better on, like, fairer skin. Um, it's just a beautiful blush. I have no complaints about these blushes whatsoever. The next shade I have, the last shade I have is Doll Faced. Um, it's just beautiful. It's, like, the nice, perfect pink one. As you can see, I only have matte blushes from Tarte. They do have more colors obviously um they have more colors obviously but just the shimmer shades that i'm just not drawn to all right the next five i have are from mac this one i have from mac is called the lord to love this is the mineralized br blush i don't know i got this at an occ is that what it's called a cco a cco I got this at a cco so i honestly don't i can't even tell you if it's like sold at mac to be honest with you the next one I have is Gingerly. I feel like this is something that everybody has in their collection as well. Just a beautiful everyday um, color, smooth as can be. It's gorgeous, complements a lot of skin tones as well. The next one I have is Immortal Flower and this is a lighter shade so it's perfect for um, lighter skin tones. It's a gorgeous shade, don't get me wrong. It's um, not for me in my opinion but it's perfect for those lighter skin shades. I said that like six times. This is in the shade Rosy Outlook. This is pretty much one of my favorite MAC blushes just because it's so pretty. They're so smooth. They're so creamy and pigmented. So this is Rosy Outlook. And it's a pro long wear blush. So you might have to check online for it. And then the last one I have is... Wait, no. Where's the mobile? I have six MAC blushes. I forgot I took one with me. Um, one I have is Harmony. This is more of like a bronzy kind of like purpley blush, I want to say. It's a gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but it's more like a deep like mauve kind of. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's pretty, don't get me wrong. I like it. And then the last one I have is Melba, one of my all-time favorite blushes. It's just perfect. It's that perfect everyday blush, like right along gingerly is Melba. And I like Melba so much. So this blush that I'm going to talk about next is honestly like just sadly um, discontinued. This is Kat Von D's Wish Blush. And I cracked mine like so long ago. And I just finally kind of like did that alcohol peroxide trick, whatever it is. So it's kind of semi back together, but 
it's falling apart but it is just one of my favorite blushes so much I love this blush so much I really wish I would have bought more blush I'm going to talk about is Essence this is the Silky Touch blush in the shade 20 baby doll this is honestly gorgeous this is honestly so gorgeous. I've worn this in a few tutorials as well. And for a drugstore, it does not have drugstore quality whatsoever. It is obviously silky, as you could say. It is pigmented as all hell. It is beautiful. It looks awesome on the skin. It's like a satiny, like silky type finish. This next blush I have is from Cargo. I don't really gravitate towards this blush, but it is gorgeous. It's in the shade Los Cabos. It says it's a water resistant blush, so maybe I'll try it out in like this summer, springtime. I think maybe I've worn it once, but it was only because I... I don't even know. It's a beautiful color, do not get me wrong, but it's just something that I don't gravitate towards me towards to as much. The next two blushes are from Milani. These are their um, baked blushes. I have Rose Di Oro and Luminoso. Luminoso is my favorite, So, but Luminoso is really, really pretty. I like it. You do need a light hand with these because they're so pigmented. Um, Rose Di Oro is just one that I don't reach to often, unless I'm like tan. This, is, this blush looks great with a tan, but it's just got so much glitter in it that I don't really know. Then I have this blush by Laura Geller in the shade Papaya. This is the Baked Gelato Vivid Swirl Blush. That's a mouthful, but it is gorgeous. I think I've used this in a tutorial before. Um, I got this at Gem Beauty New York um, back in October. And look at how pigmented this crap is. It, it's amazing. So I wouldn't wear this unless I'm tan. I have this cream blush by Sonia Kashuk in like the winter months last year. I was really into this. Um, I was really into cream blushes in the winter because my skin was dry. So it was just like, hey, let me give it a boost of something. And I thought cream blushes is awesome. I do think they are awesome, but I just don't gravitate towards them as much as I used to. So this blush I have is from NYX. I believe I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag. Um, this is a NYX high definition blush in the shade 16 beach babe um very pretty blush but it has tons and tons of shimmer in it and that's just something that i'm not about that life so and it is more of the bronze so i honestly even wouldn't even use this as a blush i would use this as like a bronzer the next blush i have is again by nyx it's their um ombre blushes um this is in the shade sweet spring 05 gorgeous gorgeous blush don't get me wrong Something I wouldn't put on my cheeks whatsoever. I would probably use this as like an eyeshadow. Maybe. Like if I wanted to do like a really cute like springy look. Um, it's beautiful though. Maybe a light hand of it when I'm like super tan. I feel like that would look good. The last blush that I have is this one by Essence. This is in the shade 10 Heat Lave. It's the Essence Blush Up Powder Blush. It's the like multicolor one. It's like the ombre effect. I think this is a very pretty blush. Okay guys, so that completes this makeup collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do apologize for not having a video up for you guys yesterday, but no worries. This video was up for you tonight. I will leave all my social media links down below, so don't forget to follow me on there. And I will have a link down there as well to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. It just notifies you for when I upload a video, which is every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Minus this week when I just didn't have a video and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!